A medication called verapamil is a common treatment for controlling blood pressure, but researchers have stumbled upon another possible use for it curing type 1 diabetes. A first of its kind trial is now underway, and as Leslie Mouton shows us, it could be the cure for what is currently the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S. Joy Myers didn't always count carbs. Three fourths cup is going to be 36 grams of carbohydrates. And she didn't always have an insulin pump strapped to her hip. It calculates how much insulin I get. So, and it's beeping. Myers has been doing all of this for just over a year, ever since at 41 years old, a near death experience put her in a coma for nine days. As I woke up in the hospital, um, you know, informed that I was now a type 1 diabetic. Even though it's typically thought of as a juvenile diabetes, type 1 can show itself at any age, and Myers was diagnosed just as a groundbreaking new study was getting underway. Diabetes treatment has come a long way, and we have different insulins, and we have different oral medications, but what we don't have is we don't have any approach that would promote the patient's own beta cell mass and function. Dr. Anath Shalev discovered that the blood pressure medication, verapamil, protects the body's beta cells, the only cells capable of producing insulin. Verapamil not only prevented type 1 diabetes in mice, but reversed it. This could potentially be a cure. As a trial participant, Myers doesn't know if these blue pills are verapamil or a placebo, but that's not what matters to her. This data is going to hopefully, you know, have an effect on the future. Uh, for someone else. Leslie Mouton, KSAT 12 News.